We're counting down to the Oscars with Cat Dealey, who's profiled an Oscar-winning director who was told early in his career that he'd never make it in the movies. Boys, he'd prove them wrong, right, Cat? He certainly did. Um, that's because Brad Bird makes animated features cartoons. Um, he's part of the team that made The Simpsons and The King of the Hill so successful, but few thought that he could have that kind of success on the big screen. He invited us into his animated world, giving us an exclusive first look at his new movie, Ratatouille which opens this summer. Take a look. A rat dreaming of a job as a French chef may seem delusional, but the director of Ratatouille knows what it's like to ignore critics and chase your dreams. I relate to the rat trying to be a chef because, uh, you know, I was uh, constantly kind of told in, in subtle ways that, you know, good luck, pal, you know, the movies are not reachable. Brad Bird chased his dreams and proved his critics wrong, working on The Simpsons. Then winning a Best Director Oscar for The Incredibles. Showtime. Let the move finish. Bird now directs more than 70 animators working on Ratatouille at Pixar. Just slow down that move. Pixar is the studio that created Toy Story, A Bug's Life, Monsters Inc, Finding Nemo and Cars. Pixar is owned by Disney, the animation pioneer. In 1920, Walt Disney drew this, his first cartoon with paper and ink. Today, animation is computerized. Let one feeling end. Good Morning America was allowed to eavesdrop on Bird and his Ratatouille animators. So we got to be sure to give a moment for this scene to like... Okay. Yeah. I'd like some fresh, clear, well-seasoned perspective. I'd like some fresh, clear, well-seasoned perspective. It can take weeks to complete a few seconds of animation. This seemingly simple shot of a character grabbing a hat was the result of intense animated discussion. The point, the point isn't that he's gr crushing this thing. The point right. is, is that he's like... He's picking it out. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Bird knows that a relaxed working environment can spark an artist's imagination. That's why Pixar animators are allowed to play ping pong at work, eat breakfast during business meetings, and even design their own offices. You bring one toy and you set it down, and then pretty soon there's two and three, and then uh, after nine years you, you get this. This Ratatouille animator turns a knob to open a bookcase that's the hidden entrance to a secret lounge. Hi, so this is the Lucky Seven Lounge. We've got all kinds of things. We've got all kinds of liquors and uh, wines. Over here we have a craps table where we can roll the dice. As you can imagine, the Hidden Lounge is popular with other animators and famous visitors like Reese Witherspoon, Owen Wilson, Michael Keaton and of course Brad Bird, a playful artist who's a serious player in Hollywood. Three years ago, Pixar endorsed Bird's membership into the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. It's an honor to be in the Academy. It's an organization populated by talented people who love movies, so who would want to be part of that? If you could get that feeling of a cat like waiting to pounce. And while animation is his passion, Bird plans next to direct a live action film. The future looks bright for this director and his rat, who may someday actually become a chef. Look, don't be so modest. You're a rat for Pete's sake. Whatever you did, they liked it. <laughs> and Brad says the trick is to make fantasy believable. So you give extraordinary objects or situations characteristics that are rooted in real life. So say, for instance, uh, say Han Solo's in the Millennium Falcon. Okay. You know, say, for instance, you're having a problem with your car and you give it a boot and it's... Mm. That's what he does. So he hits the spaceship and he makes it more believable. Or like Peter Pan flying, they relate it to swimming. So he pushes off walls and jumps like that. So people can envisage exactly what's going on. And you, it's real life in the cartoon. Very yeah. interesting. First The Incredibles, now Ratatouille. And I like the name, Rat Ratatouille. And also the French dish with all the vegetables. And the <laughs> exactly. rat wants to be a chef. It's all genius. Exactly genius. Kat <laughs> thank you very much thank for bringing you, it to sir. us.